Hey everyone, welcome back. Here we are, new day, new lure. This is going to be the second video for this week. So if you haven't already checked out the other one where I do a uh, traditional bone or our version of a traditional uh, bone pattern, uh, I'll put the link up here in the corner. This one is going to be uh, another request from Bandit VA. Thank you so much for those requests. Keep them coming. For anybody else, please put, put a request below. Uh, I, lo I love seeing the ideas. Um, Jerkbait just came in. And he wants to see an LG bone color. Now, this is uh, a Mega Bass color, so I'll do my version of it. And um, this is going to require a little bit of prep to get the stencil ready. Uh, I'll show you what I'm going to do right now. So I've taken a lure. Put painter's tape on it. Drawn the details for gills. We'll probably use that later on. But more importantly, we have the lateral line. Okay? Now, just use a piece of graph paper. Marked out my little grid. Let's take this off. and place that down there. Now we can see our grid through the lure. Each of these bones is kind of like a twisted teardrop looking thing, so let's make this a bit wider. Okay, I think this is a pretty good starting point for us to start cutting. Uh, you'll see that we taper down, but then it flares out. I flared out past the body of the lure because it's pretty thin, and we're going to need something for this rest of the body of the stencil to hold on to so it keeps these little drips in place. Um, I'll cut it out on some like poster board, and we'll see how it looks. Hang on. Okay, so as you can tell, the first plan didn't work out so well. So instead, I just cut a thin strip of tape, as well as these little crescents, you can kind of see it up here, and just basically place them on either side, match them up accordingly, and now we can start painting. Uh, that, that step took way too long. Ribbon, place it over top. Just a light coat of this uh, transparent black. Let's peel that stencil off. Well, the stencil turned out to be good for something. We still have the gill plate here, so we might as well use that. Place that along the edge. Still with that uh, transparent black in the brush. Spray down the back. So 
some titanium white in the brush. Spray the belly. Now with some metallic blue. When doing metallics, it's kind of nice to do a, a black base first. It really kind of makes that metallic, uh, gives it just like a much richer value or a, bit, a much more bold color. Now with some Createx Pearl Plum. All we're going to do is just a stripe along the back. Whatever falls over the sides of the head, perfect. Now with some chartreuse in the brush. Spray over top of the white. Okay, just to backtrack a little bit, uh, in total me fashion, I forgot to hit record uh, as I was doing the eyes. So uh, the eyes are done, the eyes are already in, but I'll show you just how I do this step. Uh, it's nothing really fancy, but I figure we'll go over it just in case you're curious. I have some carbon black in the brush. We have our eyes right here. There's nothing, there's no reason why I chose these eyes specifically. Just choose a pair of eyes you don't use very often. Let that dry for a sec. All right, now we have some iridescent copper. And just spray all over the black. Okay, with the carbon black, just make a little puddle. Use any object that's smaller than the eye. And then on the lower half, Peel that off, glue it in, good to go. Okay, there we have it. Elgy bone. I like how it turned out. That metallic and the pearl really look good together. It's, it's not a super difficult pattern. It's just getting that bone along the side took a lot of time. Uh, I've included a link below for, for the Mega Bass website uh, if you wanted to purchase one of these. I don't get any commission from that at all. Uh, I just feel like if I'm going to copy somebody's color, 
uh, or my version of it, that they at least deserve the credit and the chance for uh, somebody to purchase a lure. So at the same time, I painted something a little bit different. Same idea, got the bone pattern, just some different colors. For this, I used iridescent yellow, iridescent teal, 50-50, sprayed that along the back and on the head, and then just the iridescent teal along the back. Fluorescent orange on the belly, and that was it. Uh, thanks so much. I know uh, I don't usually do two videos in one week, but hey, I skipped the week before, and uh, you guys deserve to to get a video every week. So I'm, I'm doing two this week. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Again, uh, comments below. I love them, and have a great rest of the weekend. Bye.